Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ash AOB. You already know what it is. So on today's episode, which you guys already seen from the thumbnail, we are going to be throwing some lights onto the Red Cat Ascent. So you guys can see there. That's yeah, so where we are now, sitting here. So what we're gonna do is um, we have some lights here that are on the back of this trailer that would go really well with a the theme that is going to be going with a new body for this red cat. Um, not going to tell you guys much about that. You will see it when it's done. Um, other than that, I am going to be taking these lights off the back of this. I was already planning to do so, but um, now I could just do it even earlier and get it set up, so it's whatever. But either way, I'm going to mount them right onto the back of the bumper here. Like that, standing up, face it back, you know the drill. Um, other than that, for the front lights, we are actually going to be taking the lights off of this because um, I'm planning to run four single lights in this little bumper thing here. So four or five, how much ever we can get um, into this piece and then we'll go from there. But yeah, we're going to take this off because it's creating a lot of wind drag. And I think that's causing a lot of issues once I'm starting to try to get to those higher speeds. Let me show you guys here. There's like a lip, like right there. I don't know if you guys can let me see. Yeah, you can see how much of a lip there is. So that's catching a lot of air and stuff like that. So yeah, not, not the greatest. Um, so we're gonna waterproof this, seal it up, uh, use some hot glue and basically seal up all these little sections, stuff like that. Uh, leave the LED parts out, obviously, so that they can catch light. Um, but yeah, so we're just, that's basically what we're going to be doing with this episode here. Getting it all set up. We're probably going to mount it right up here on the front, just like that. Somewhere here. So, yeah, let me go ahead and start pulling all this stuff apart, getting everything set up, and then I'll get back to you guys and show you guys a rough draft of what I got so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This one's going to be pretty cool. Um, if you guys want to do this, it's really simple. I'll show you guys how really easy this is once I get it all going and set up. So, like I said, don't forget, like, subscribe. Let's get it going. All right, so we got these little lights out of the trailer there. You guys can see. Cool, eh? And they're going to go right here. Like that. Something like that. You know. So we already tested them. One of the lights are out, which is whatever, because seems like a trend for me, all my trucks have one light out in the back. So I figured, hey, you know what, whatever. We'll just keep that going. So one of these sides are not going to have a light working, but the light will be there. Maybe in the future I might replace it, but literally all my crawlers have one light out in the back. Every, all the other lights work, but just that one light in the back, I don't know, it's a trend. But either way, we're going to drill it out here. Um, I'm going to use uh, the hard L and basically go ahead and just drill two holes where we want them, and then get it all set up. So give me a sec. Okay, you can see that right there. Eh, not bad, came out pretty good. Might have to make it a little bit bigger, but it's all good. Let's test. In here. <laughs> yeah, that's making it a little bigger for sure. But yeah, I like where that is. It's not a bad spot. Okay, so it's gonna match the hole on the other side. See if I can get it somewhere close.
Yeah. Pretty close. Just eyeing it out. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're gonna use this little reamer thing here. Try to open up this hole a bit more so we can fit our light studs down in there. So let me just go ahead and. It's a little button on these, you just press it here. Turn that. Pop that out, pop that in. And you can lock her up. Just like that. Alright, and then you have press up, 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 off, or. I just normally press down and it carries it all the way up. And let's ream out this hole. That should do for that. Just test fit one of these in here real quick. Grab this one, doesn't matter. We need to go bigger still. That seems like it. Are these studs just a little glued up? Let's see, let me just try a usual a normal screw. So it does need a little bit more. Let's see what else we got in this. Comes with all these little bits and stuff like that. You guys see there. Let's see if this will make a difference. Uh, it seems like it'll give it a little bit more, so let's give that a try. Same thing here. that in and let's see. Think that'll do her. Yeah, I think it'll work. Probably need to clean these holes out a bit. But, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Alright, so. These will go here. Like so. Like so. Alright, let me get these holes um, reamed out a bit more, and then I'll get back to you guys when it's all put together. Alright guys, so you guys can see there, we got the lights in for the back. So I just reamed it out a bit more with this one, just wiggle it around in there, smooth it and like open it up a bit both sides. Not too much, so it fits in, like these are securely snug in there. Obviously I can get the back out if I need to, and I can swivel them to point whichever direction I want. So that to me is pretty sick. But obviously, you know, they're there, they're in the back. Um, so, I just gotta figure out my wiring. Get all these wires ran up to the cockpit, if in the front. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I gotta take my front lights off the speed buggy now. And then get that all set up in here. And yeah, so we're gonna work on the front now. Let me just go get the lights off of that and get back to you. 
I just wanted to bring you guys back in real quick to show you um, what I was talking about with that lip. There's a better angle of it there. So yeah, I think that was creating a ton of uh, force. Uh, look at that. And crashed a few times, you see. That was just peel off. It was just on double sided tape. And there was a, um, what you call it? There was a zip tie here. I guess that snapped off in the last crash it had in its last run. I just noticed that. But either way, um, yeah, so we're gonna be taking this now and we're gonna be putting it onto the ascent. So let me go ahead and get this sorted out and figure it out and get it going. So give me a second. All right, folks, so that's basically it there. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it will function and will do its thing. Like I said, I do have a new body coming for this, so this is gonna get set up a lot better, but this is just for the event that's tomorrow night. So we're gonna try that out. Um, let me show you guys how this is ran. All right, so you guys can see in there, got the wire coming out from there. It runs along there. Then we have all the wires here. Goes into the receiver. Then I have the on and off button here. Got my two tail lights in the back here. All right. So, we go ahead and close her back down. We drilled four holes through here. Two in the front, two in the back. And then this is double side taped as well. So this is not going absolutely anywhere. That is completely secure. The truck is already on. I'm just gonna press the button here. Take a look. So we got our one tail light in the back. It looks awesome, not gonna lie, I like the style of it. Um, our one tail light that's out. Give us that, that style. And then of course we got their super bright lights in the front. Insanely bright, insanely bright lights. And we have it all sealed up and everything, so that should be fine. But yeah, you guys can see like this thing will light up everything right there. You guys can see that. Put it back over here. Alright, and like it, there's lights on in here. And this thing is just making it brighter, so. Not bad at all, that should do very well on the trail, but that's basically it. So please like, subscribe, if you guys want to do something like this, you guys saw how we did the, the tail lights and the bumper, that's just awesome, you're going to see how it looks in the nighttime. But yeah, all those wires are tucked nicely, you can see them, and then you got the bright, the super bright headlights on there, so yeah, I am very happy with that for sure. So with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Please like, subscribe, you guys already know how it goes. Um, we're gonna be hitting, I think it's Death Valley uh, tomorrow night. We're gonna be doing a run with GTA RC crawlers. So we're gonna give that a test, see how it is for the night run. And that's basically it. So I'm just gonna slap in some little highlights real quick uh, so you guys can see you know, how it looks. There's some spinning, whatever, stuff like that. But. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, uh, which will probably be the night crawl video. So, stay tuned. I will see you guys in that video. It's supposed to be awesome. I have not done a night crawl yet, so I'm super, super excited. So, hit that notification bell if you guys want to be notified. And I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.